You can tell by the raindrops on the screen that the first day of the 13 fishing Bass Pro Series round sponsored by Maui Jim on the Clarence River was a little bit showery. Mitchell Cone was straight yeah, out of the blocks, awesome. 7.6 <laughs> kilos plus on day one, with fish like this hitting the deck all day. Now we had so many great highlights come out of this event that we're going to run both of them as full length highlight packages. If you want to go to your favourite angler, look down the bottom, there should be chapter markers, you can skip straight to the angler you want to follow, or hey, just sit down for half an hour and watch bass after bass come over the gunnel. What's that on? Volt, 42. Yep. And I spent all of the first day amassed just under six and a half kilos throwing <laughs> jerk baits. Look at them just eating behind your lure. <laughs> oh, that big one there. The oh, yeah, we'll get him. Oh, I just got hit by one then. Missed him. It's right, I'll be a while. You keep pushing. I'll, I'll tell you when that we can net him. Still hung around the boat. on the dial spike. Oh, right here, look at him. Chomp, chomp. So I'll, you keep fishing. I'll let him. He's big old. He's going to fight for a while. He's just hooked right in the boat. In the side like that. There you go. Thank you. Number two. fish. <laughs> well, it's not on the bait, straight ahead of the bait. You probably could see it on the live stream. Oh, that wasn't on my lure, but I'm wishing it was. That's a good fish, that one. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Threw back to the boil that one. Yeah. On that on server.
Reasonable head shake, Slim. <laughs> He'd have one hook in his cheek, I reckon. He's digging. Come here, mate, get in there. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. It feels all right, but it could be the current. I didn't hit him in the, the current, eh? Just to open the mouths and like. No. Flight, I'll wait till he's up. I'll wait till he's right up on top. Oh, he's good fish. He's got it choked, eh? What is it? The electric motor's trying to take me to bloody Grafton. Nice work, nice skin. <laughs> Number four. Fish number four. The real plan was to Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a bream. I reckon it hit a rock, and I reckon this is a bream. I get a limit. Oh, I fell off. It was a brim, I'm telling you. I caught a lot of brim over the years. <laughs> no one felt just like a brim. But if you hit the rock, that's what you catch, brim. That one feels like a bass, though. That ain't no brim. I'd be throwing right on the, I'd sit right on the top of the rocks. No, same lure. And I'd be hitting the rocks with the lures. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Number five. Da 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 Grafton local Anthony Duff always seems to be up at the pointy end when it comes to Clarence River events, and today was no exception, sitting firmly inside the top ten. Good luck. Number one, third cast. Oh, he's on.
There you go. What are you, the crank? That is a giant. Yes. That is a giant. That is a giant. Just inhale that hard body. That's a cracking fish. Now we're talking. Yes, yes, yes. I do have Yes, yes, number five. Taking a while. It's good to have him in the boat. Rapala's Mitchell Petty doesn't have that much experience on the Clarence, but he soon honed into a pattern, catching fish after fish in the drains. Donker. Are you kidding? That's on film, dude. <laughs> you are kidding. Whoa. Yeah, no, you're right. You just took it for the video. Phew. Cracking Clarence. River bass. That is a horse. <laughs> you. I know.
to you, they're still up there. Palo Risto Raff. Phew. Nice clearance bass. Number three. Now it's pretty rare to see Queensland's Mick Johnson outside the top ten, let alone not bring a five fish limit to the Waymaster. His four fish today though weighed over five kilos, anchored by a cracking 46 centimetre fish, just under two kilograms. Bigger, so that'll go on the mat. <clears throat> nice. Coffs Harbour's Chris Banks won the last time we came to the Clarence, but his upstream fish let him down a little this time, and he ended up finishing midfield on day one. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my oh god! god. Oh my god! Sorry? You can just hold up for a sec. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh that's huge! Careful! Careful! <gasps> it's huge! Oh, oh my god! Wow. Now that, that is a bass! Wow! Wow! Yeah, not much more to say. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. It's like the two fish. Yeah. 
that's number five. Take it. Now this definitely wasn't a weekend to be a favourite on the Clarence. Mike Nelson won this event twice before, highly rated to do well again, but his upstream fish just didn't fire. Now here's something you don't see every day at an ABT Bass Pro event. Dane Price down at the bottom of the leaderboard, but he's still working his way in the dirty water in the nasty structure, throwing his jigs around. Do you need a handle on the photos or any of the stuff? Ah, uh, no, it's all good, thanks. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> That's cool, man. And we don't know if we've seen a non-boater as keen as Tommy Wood. He fishes brim, he fishes bass, he fishes barra, and here's some of his chess cam footage. Yeah. I don't know how big he is. Right away. Did it go? Yeah. Oh, more. Oh, more. You're close. Thanks, mate. I think just hit the water, eh? Now, if you wanted to see the live scoreboards and live coverage of this event, visit www.abt.org.au and put it in your bookmarks. That's where it's all collected.